Is it just me or are the unplanned free adventures simply the best? <laughs> Aloha from Hawaii. Welcome back, you beautiful people, to the wonderful island of Oahu. I am Moana! Time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. still five years old. I know I'm getting old, but Haley has come so far. Something has changed in my child. A year ago, she was a scared little toddler who couldn't even put her head under water, even in a bathtub. And if you've been with us for a while, you'll remember the episode I took her snorkeling at Secret Beach. We had to work up to that. Well, now we have worked up to this. We're going to go out to the middle of the ocean and go snorkeling in the deep. No boats. Okay, maybe a life jacket. We are going way out there. We're just going to go have an unplanned, unscripted... Wasn't that memorizing? It was really fun. It was a long... But it was very dangerous. This year was actually really tight. Okay. In reality, that moment was a bit more like this. <laughs> Getting out there was rocky. There was a bit of a shore break over the rocks, which was intimidating for my girls. Hold on, Haley! So I quite literally threw them into the ocean over the shore break. And yes, there might have been a few cries or tears shed that might not have been caught on camera. But as soon as we got past the shore break, they were fine. And like many other kids, it was like it never even happened. 
We swam out to the reef about 500 feet from the shore, and Alex and Haley both asked to take their life jackets off. Both girls have wanted to do more and more of this, and with John being there, I gave them the chance to go ahead and start practicing diving down to see how far they could truly get. Well, we had just started practicing when two seals showed up, and I have to say it was quite something. They were so quiet and smooth, I didn't notice them until they were pretty much right beneath us, between John and I. They were curious for the most part, but we quickly put the life jackets back on. And although we kept swimming and exploring, we were a bit more cautious about it. came back to try some boogie boarding. We had actually gone out with some of our friends, the friends that we had gone fishing with a couple of weeks ago. And this time John was gonna head out to do some spear fishing. Woo! Oh, there's a fish that just jumped. Man, the seals are like, the distance between the kids and the men. Which, probably for their part, luckily they didn't catch anything because the seals pretty much continued to circle around them. <laughs> yep. You know what though? It turned out to be an authentic, unplanned adventure. It required a little shove off the beach, but I don't think Alex and Haley will forget this beautiful day spent in the ocean. Would you want a seal to come up to you? Uh-uh. Why not? Scary. Now I've seen some videos of people snorkeling with seals and them coming right up to you and sniffing you and being like all in your face and messing with your goggles. I think I'm good. That monk seal, those monk seals, because there was more than one, they are massive. Will I cry? Will I leave? Past couple of days. It's been so dry this year compared to the last one. 
We've been having this big fire over in Milani and it's billowing smoke everywhere. It just reminds me of California. You just can't escape it. Oh, and it's burning my eyes. And whenever my eyes burn, usually from allergies, they drain out and they cause my eyes to like blister up with like eczema, whatever it is you call it. And just this constant barrage. Even Alex's eyes were just burning. A couple days later, in the middle of Sharktober here on Oahu, I took the girls to Secret Beach in Colina to just relax and have fun. John is back in the fields, and... Do you guys see that full moon? What a beautiful morning. You know what? We just wanted to have a nice sandy beach to play in. That said, we still had seals and turtles, but mostly just plain old fun. He's sneaky like that. There he oh, is. Oh my God. Oh, he's going to come out of the water. If he comes out of the water, we got to move. had a wonderful Halloween. It actually turned out to be pretty special for the girls and I. John has been out in the field and his schedule is like anyone's guess. He's up for doing whatever and for the last five days we had zero contact. He was just in the jungle and then he shows up at like four in the morning the day of Halloween. We're like hey he's got a 48 hour pass. Yay he can rest. Literally like noon, they're like, nope, you gotta be back at four o'clock. I was like, ah, oh, right before trick-or-treating. They were like, no, never mind. You gotta be back at 7.30. So we were so grateful that John had about 90 minutes to do some trick-or-treating with the girls. So I did not video it. I let him go and enjoy every minute he could with the girls. And I'm just grateful. So I know a lot of the guys on this island or have been unable to do that. They always schedule stuff over Halloween. I don't know why, but they just do. And yeah, so thank you for that random chance, but I hope you all had a wonderful Halloween. And John is heading back in the field as op four. Veterans Day is coming up and I think we have a special video for you guys because my cousin came into port I haven't seen my cousin in years and it was really special. She's carrying the torch by being in the Navy. Both John and I have multiple generations of retired Navy in our blood. Fortunately, my cousin has carried that torch for us. So this next episode is going to be pretty special.